Hi, welcome. I will discuss and share tips about drawing trees and a forest using the vector layer, figure U tools, and tool properties in Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint has different practical tools to create line art and manipulate the lines of your drawings. With the help of the vector layer, tools, and tool properties, editing and navigating the lines of your illustrations are achievable. Let's begin. First, I will discuss the tools, subtool properties, and the vector layer. Figure U tool is useful for creating vector art in Clip Studio Paint. The subtool figure has different options. It has shapes and lines for drawing line art and creating vector art. You may also add your subtool. The correct line Y tool assists in manipulating and transforming your drawings, lines, and shapes. The subtool correct line has different options to manipulate and transform your drawing, lines, and shapes. The subtool correct line includes the control point, pinch vector line, adjust line weed, simplify vector line, connect vector line, redraw vector line weed, and redraw vector line. In the succeeding parts of the video, I'm going to discuss each of their functions briefly. The Simplify Vector Line tool allows you to transform the line with ease to form your desired figure or shape. The tool property of Simplify Vector Line allows you to simplify, delete short lines, and navigate brush size. Here is a short video clip to show you the function of Simplify Vector Line. The Connect Vector Line tool links the separate points of the lines on your drawings or figures. The tool property of Connect Vector Line allows you to simplify, connect lines, and navigate the brush size. Here is a short video clip to show you the function of Connect Vector Line. The redraw vector line allows you to transform the shapes and redraw your desired lines. The properties of the redraw vector line allows to fix ends, simplify, connect the lines, and navigate stabilization. Here is a short video clip to show you the function of redraw vector line. The redraw vector line weed allows you to adjust the weed of your lines. The tool navigation comprises the tools to manipulate the lines and control points of shapes. You may see the object tool under the tool pane. The control point, pinch line, and adjust line width tools are also located in the subtool correct line pane. The object tool is for selecting and moving the lines on the canvas. Here is a short video clip to show you the function of the object tool.
The control point tool allows you to do the following. Move control point, add control point, delete control point, switch corner, adjust line width, adjust opacity, and split line. I will show you the functions of each tool in the next parts of the video. The pinch line tool allows you to warp or transform the line. The tool property of pinch factor lines allows you to pinch the lines with ease using the fixed end, pinch level, effect range, add control point, and connect lines. In the succeeding parts of the video, I will show the functions of each tool property of pinch factor line. The fixed both ends icon allows you to pinch the line without moving the ends of the line. The fixed either end icon allows you to pinch either side of the line while the other end is steady. The free both ends icon allows you to pinch the line with movable ends. The pinch level navigation bar allows you to increase or reduce the amount of pinch. The vector layer allows you to manipulate your lines and polish drawings, form shapes, and create vector art. After clicking the new vector layer icon, you will see a layer with a similar figure of a cube on top of the selected layer. The cube indicates that the layer is a vector layer. After knowing about the tools and the vector layer, search your desired for a color palette and choose. For instance, if you like a blue color palette, you may search for a blue forest color palette. In my drawing, I selected the following colors below from the website of Scheme Color. You may copy the hex color number of each color palette to use it for your drawing. After choosing a color palette, click a color. Type the hex number in the box on the color settings dialog box and click OK when you're done. Search for a reference photo if you like. There are several photos of the forest from the different online platforms that you can use as an inspiration. The pictures may help you visualize your ideal forest. Searching for a reference photo is optional. After knowing the tools and choosing your color palette or reference photos, begin drawing a tree. First, organize your layers, click the new layer folder and name it. You may use a name based on the color of your trees. Below the folder, add a new vector layer and name it. Pick the darkest color from your color palette. Input the hex number in the box. Choose a thick brush size. Draw a tree using the curve tool. 
Here is a short video clip to show you the function of the curve tool. Use the correct line Y tool and the tool property to transform your lines, create curves, and make textures on the tree. Here is a short video clip to create the texture of the tree trunk using the subtool correct line. Add a new vector layer to create the three branches and name it. Adding a new vector layer allows you to freely draw and edit the lines without touching the other drawing on the other vector layer. Draw the three branches using a curve tool with a thick brush size but thinner than the trunk. Transform the tree branches using the correct line Y tool. You may adjust the line width, move control points, and add control points. You are free to use other tools and navigate the tool properties to create your branches. You may create a tree like a sample picture on your screen using the correct line Y tool and the tool property. Add some details on the tree like hanging branches using the continuous curve, then transform the lines using the correct line tool Y. Click the control point under the subtool correct line, click adjust line width under the tool property control point and click the point you like to adjust. Plug the arrow to your right to increase the line width and left to reduce the line width while pressing it. Draw the leaves using the curve and the correct line Y tool to transform the lines into your desired figure.
You may use a duplicate layer to create a copy of the leaves. Click the layer on the commands menu bar then click the duplicate layer. Use the object tool scale and rotate to move and size the leaves. Here is a sample drawing of the tree with hanging branches and the leaves. Draw another tree in the vector layer using a dark color from your color palette but lighter than the first one. Place the new folder and vector layers below and name it. All the succeeding layers for the background will be placed below. You may place the layers below to keep the trees behind. Please see the sample picture on your screen. In my drawing, I use Ateneo Blue to color the trees and place the folder of the Ateneo trees below to keep the trees behind the darkest tree. Add new vector layers and draw trees with lighter colors behind the darker trees. Add details to your background, add some grasses, plants, shadows, or light. Click a new vector layer to add more details. Place the new vector layer above the folder of a tree. Select the layer and click the Clip to Layer Below icon. The Clip to Layer Below allows you to create a drawing within the lines and inside the drawing below. Add more details if you like. Here is my drawing of an enchanted forest. Remember to choose the best drawing method that is suitable for you. Enjoy your drawing process and I hope you learn from my tips. If you like more technical explanation about the tools, you may read the official Clip Studio Paint tips. Please see the links in the description below. Good luck with your drawing process. Thank you.